फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट श्री जैन लर्नेड काउंसिल फॉर द पेटिशनर रेफरिंग टू द अवरमेंट्स टेकन इन द रिट पेटिशन हैड सबमिटेड दैट श्री गुलाम फरीद हैड ओनली सबमिटेड हिज रेजिग्नेशन ऑन थर्टीएथ जुलाई 1979 ऑन द सेम डेट इट सेल्फ मिस्टर गुलाम फरीद इज स्टेटेड टू हैव सबमिटेड अ लेटर होल्डिंग आउट दैट हिज रेजिग्नेशन बी नोट एक्टेड अपॉन टिल फिफ्टींथ जनवरी 1981 ही सबमिट्स that the resignation was ultimately accepted by the management on 27th january 1981 consequent to shri gulam fari not exercising any other option prior to 15th january 1981 it is his submission that the absorption of the petitioner came into effect with the direction issued by the district inspector of schools on 7th january 1985 this order makes specific reference to the provisions of section 21b which had come to be inserted in the 1982 act initially by way of up ordinance number 13 of 1985 which stood replaced by the amending act itself shri jain submits that no facts were concealed from the district inspector of schools in any view of the matter it is his submission that no reasons have been assigned to establish the charge of concealment of a material fact by the management learned additional chief standing counsel on the other hand contends that from the records it appears that the petitioner was appointed for the first time only on 7th january 1985 and therefore even if the vacancy be treated to have come into existence on 27th january 1981 when the resignation was accepted it is clear that no orders in favor of the petitioner could have been passed by the district inspector of schools referable to section 21b the learned additional chief standing counsel in addition reiterates the objection taken in the impugned order which rests upon the provisions of regulation 20 comprised in chapter 3 of the regulations framed under the 1921 act having heard learned counsel for parties this court finds that the pleadings which have been taken in the writ petition and which detail the circumstances surrounding the resignation of farid have not been traversed by the state while the order impugned does refer to concealment of fact what facts were actually concealed from the district inspector of schools and which would have affected the basis of the order dated 7th january 1985 are not disclosed even the affidavit filed by the state respondents in these proceedings do not detail the facts which according to the respondents were concealed by the committee of management in the absence of any effective traverse the court must necessarily proceed on the pleadings taken in the writ petition it is therefore clear and apparent that the resignation of 
मिस्टर गुलाम फरीद वॉज एक्सेप्टिड बाय दी मैनेजमेंट ओनली ओन ट्वेंटी सेवन्थ जनवरी नाइनटीन एटी वन द वैकेंसी देयर फोर कुड नोट पॉसिबली बी सेड टू हैव कम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन इट इज नोट द केस ऑफ द रिस्पोंडेंट दैट द लेटर ऑफ रेजिग्नेशन सबमिटेड बाय श्री फरीद इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन came into effect immediately in so far as the order of the district inspector of schools dated 7th january 1983 is concerned a bear reading of the said order clearly establishes that it is not an order of appointment but an order of absorption made with reference to section 21b of the 1982 act this order of absorption presupposes and is based upon the petitioner having worked as a reserve pool teacher between the period 9th january 1978 and 19th january 1978 the factum of the petitioner having worked as a reserve pool teacher during these terminal dates is also no disputed by the respondents stop